Hey guys, the objective of this video is to complete a difficult axial force diagram and to find average normal stress in a member. So the problem we have is we've been asked to find the average normal stress throughout the member. Um, we've been told that it is a circular section and you can see that this section from A to B has a diameter of 100 millimeters. This section from B to C has a diameter of 75 millimeters. And you can see that it is loaded in this way. It's got five newtons acting right to left on this end, has five newtons acting at uh, this plate B um, on the top and the bottom. And it also has 15 newtons um, acting at C left to right. So the way we're going to uh, get into this question is we're going to make some cuts um, along this beam and we're going to resolve some internal forces. So the first cut we're going to be making is we're going to cut uh, anywhere between A and B because you can see that uh, there's one force applied here and then the next forces are applied at B. So to work out the forces in this section here, we need to take a cut through, the, through it. So as I, that's what I've done, I've cut it, and then I have drawn in my unknown axial force, because that's the only force that we're interested in here. Uh, now all we have to do is apply our equilibrium in the x direction. So we have some of the forces in the x direction, taking left to right as being positive is equal to naught, and that is equal to, so we have minus 5, because it's acting the other direction, and we have plus P1. So if we rearrange and solve for P1, we end up with P1 is equal to 5 newtons. So now we can take our second cut. We take our second cut here. Uh, what I've done is I've just cut it in between. 